the painterly shader is finally here and this is version 0.1 which means there is a lot of room to improve but let me show you how the generators that I created are connected between each other to generate all of these layers of painting including the effect to underpaint the skin. Now we also have to show the comic painterly shader which a lot of you seem to have found very interesting. I'll be showing this specific uh, shader in kind of a rundown here in this video. Now please bear in mind this is not a tutorial, this is just a video showcase to tell you how you can use these shaders which are available on my Patreon. There is a nice add-on called flow map which is used to smear vectors. Basically, we're going to smear procedural materials and that is awesome. But just in case, you can also render out your model and then you can give finishing touches in Krita using the new RGBA brushes. This shader was developed for the sole purpose to give you a head starting point if you are not an artist. But here are some basic concepts that I need you to understand before coming into the shader. The concept number one is the generators. We need to procedurally generate different layers that are going to be blending between each other using the mix RGB node in different factors such as overlay, darken, multiply, and then you can have the power to come to each of those generators and manipulate, for example, the scale points that you see right here. The second concept I need you to get is that artists paint with light. You need to understand how light affects your surface even though your surface does not have a shader like in this case. I'm going to take this high polygonal statue and then I'm going to use some cool and warm colors set to specific places uh, given with the reference of any other painterly best picture that you can find about different artists. Now how do you append your shader? Well you can go to file, append, follow the procedure here in the video and then you can point to materials and then painterly skin version 0.1. That's the painterly look not the comic one. So this is going to apply it right here. You select this you come down here to the material, select it, the recently appended material, and then it will assignate it. Now make sure that your scale is set to one unit in Blender, otherwise it would look very small. Now it reacts very slowly because the shader is very heavy, okay? And there is also a lot of polygons on the screen. Now one thing I need you to understand is to download the add-on, which is called Flow Map, and make sure that it is active so that you can use it when you want to smear your procedural layer, which in this case is the base layer. Now, of course, you need to know about color harmony. Um, you need to understand how to depict every picture that you see here. For example, highlights, blending modes, uh, smears, and you can take Rubens paintings, for example. So you can also look for Caravaggio paintings to know the contrast levels, values, uh, even details such as the rust or like in this this example uh, the accumulated material that dries off over time you can check out also values like what do you do when you saturate things or desaturate things now I will strongly recommend that you follow the Krita channel uh, with Ramon Miranda because he creates natural feeling brushes using Krita engine to create a natural smooth feeling and a very organic approach. All of his brushes are created from real medium capture brushes. The following shaders are available in my Patreon. This is a quick presentation for the stylized painterly shader. The idea here was to mix different techniques and create different procedural layers, if we can call it that way. Each one of these nodes, it's a generator it will generate a procedural noise, if we can call it that way, or a procedural stylized layer. So what if you have a texture and you want to combine it all together with this? You can come here to this top part of the tree, of the shader tree. And this is the most important area that you can uh, find in the shader. Because if you have a texture, you can directly connect it here. Once you have that, you can use this mixer to favor your texture in zero 
or favor the painterly effect when it's set to 1. Right now it's set to 1, so everything you see is procedural. It will not take into acquaintance your image texture. So if you load up an image texture right here, then you can evaluate probably at 50% or something lower. You can also change to color dodge or color or hue or value. Hue, saturation, color, value. I recommend you go first with this and then you try mix or you can also try multiply. The mixing factor here will be decided by the look that you want so that's not a problem. All you need to know is that if you're going to zero you're going to favor all the way the appearance of the texture but if you favor one then it's going to show the painterly effect and that is good. There's a big section down here which is kind of the main core of this entire shader. This is the simpler shader which is more like a comic style. I'm going to be connecting this so you can see it. Um, at first it would look nothing spectacular, as a matter of fact it looks very very bad. But again this is a stylized comic shader which will resemble some of the painterly strokes that we went by in the previous video. So as you can see here, the principle is to paint with light. And therefore the basis of this shader is a simple half Lambert. I'm going to control shift, click here. So you can see that the light, in this case, the light direction is determined by this object, which is called point. Okay. So this one is point 0.3, let's select directly <laughs> point. This is the one that it's giving them the entire light. So if I move this, you can see this is the approach um, shader. So if you click out there, uh, you cut that connection and then you come here into the final thing and you connect this to the viewer, you're going to see that everything here is controlled by the lights. Again, in paint, light determines the the tinting. So if I move this then you can see it's creating this look and feel. If I move this again same thing is going to happen. Um, some of you told me that this looks amazing and I agree. Most of you liked it but it wasn't popular among the other users probably because they did not understand it or probably because they did not like it. But anyways, I am releasing this as well, so you can check it on your own time. And I even tried to do some techniques as to capturing the viewport and then smearing and painting whatever I had here with Krita. But I will be showing that in the general uh, public release workflow. For now, all you are going to get is these different nodes that you see here. And what you want to do is to, let me see right here yep it's called painterly just painterly <laughs> um, what you can do is to grab your principal BSDF and manipulate it as you need it this is converted to a RGB so you can mix with colors again mix with colors again and from here on it's just the viewer because it's thought to be you know rendered out directly from the viewport this is not uh, thought to have any any other kind of shaders. Maybe you would like to use an emission node so you can connect that and then connect it to the surface and you you're going to get the same result. Now you would ask what if I want to use my own textures to put it in here since your textures are a an image map right an image texture I don't have any textures right now so I cannot show you the final end result but I think you have a pretty good idea how to do this. So this entire tree again is going to be your result. That is going to be the base color and then texture is going to go above which is color to set to color. And that should take care of everything that you have underneath and color it the way you have your textures. Uh, how you want that. Then you have a rim light which is this something that you see right here. You can use the cutoff to you know make it bigger, smaller. This is both combined. Um, once 
to be added and the other one to compute the ambience. So you can change the ambience here. If I go to green, then you can see that it's going to change again. This takes some time to compute, but it will work. As for the people that is asking me right now, where is the previous video? The previous video is a 40 minute uh, explanation walkthrough for the complex shader, for the bigger shader, for the uh, complete shader with different generators. This is just a smaller video because most of the people ask me um, where was the shader? They wanted to get this one instead of the other painterly bigger one. So I'm releasing this short video so, you, so that you can see it. But just in case that you're wondering why did he mention in the previous video if we are only seeing one video. Well, that's the reason. So anyways, I hope you have liked this one. And here's the simple lamp burn. Just control click shift there. And you're, you're going to get this result. Uh, I think this one's the point. Yeah. So you can move that. If you move this over here, for example. Okay. And then click over here. You're going to get back. And then you can see that the light has moved. If you like this shader, uh, please consider subscribing. Please consider following me on Patreon. Following me on Patreon does not mean that you will have to um, be paying. But if you consider supporting me, then you can sign in for any of the rewards that I have monthly there. My Patreon is per creation. That means if I create one thing, then you'll be charged only once a month one time at the month and if I create two three or four things that you will also be charged as such therefore you can plan how much you want to spend or support my channel with on your patreon settings be uh, be reminded that that's the way it works all right so if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section down below I'll be glad to help you out with all of these things all of your questions and I wanted to quickly address how you can read this. So this is what I call the generator. And you can come here and um, read it in the right to left position. Most of the time you will have all of the things that create the effect right here. Most of the time you will have the procedural effect right here. And most of the time you will have what distorts or manages the coordinate system right here and you will have another section which is kind of this one actually um, the the general location for those coordinates okay it gets easier as you practice don't worry this is the light version if this video helped you out please consider subscribing and don't forget to check the description of the video where you will find all the links relevant to this method also, if you consider getting deeper into the NPR stylized shaders that I use and create, you can check out WingFox with my special course about stylized 2D shaders where I show a lot of different techniques that you can use to stylize your creations, models, and your animations. Also, bear in mind that we are close to the Blender 3 release date, which basically was our starting point to release part Five and part 6 in the year 2022, probably after February 2022, with more new content about stylizing your techniques. Alright, so don't miss out. If you buy a course, then you will have access to the four first sections, and section 5 and section 6 will be announced once they get released on the next year. Thank you very much for all of your support, and I really do appreciate every comment that you make about this painterly technique. We are just scratching the surface. There are a lot more things that I have planned and that are going to be implemented into this shader, so don't miss it out. Just hit that subscription button, and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. By becoming a Patreon, you will have access to all of the files that I publish here, the proof of concepts, even screenshots, and behind the scenes of what the concepts go into whenever I'm creating these new shaders. Thank you so much for your support. And if this is the first time visiting my channel, let me ask you something. Have you tried Blender? Blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible.